crooks, swindlers, and thieves. I'm excited to be back here with another video upload. It's been a little while. It's been a hot minute. I think it's been close to a month since my last upload. Sorry about that. I appreciate your patience. I was I needed to take some time to step back, pay a little bit better attention to my mental health for a little bit, pay a little better attention to my work performance and my day job in commercial real estate. And something I'm still trying to work on is paying a little better attention to um, my marriage and my relationship with my wife. So um, I just had to take a time, a little bit of time away from the video uploads to sort out myself. So just thanks for your patience. And in this video, I'm going to do a, we're going to do another donator pack giveaway. We're going to talk about, I'm going to have to deliver on what I promised in a, my previous upload, which is that I'm going to talk to you about my aspirations and my dreams for Torn City as a game, for what I can contribute to the community of Torn and its player base, and my aspirations for my YouTube channel, project, things like that. Um, by the nature of what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to have to discuss my strategy for passive income investing in Torn City and how I'm going to use my strategy to effectively sponsor other players, mostly new players, um, players who I trust. And I'll talk a little bit about some details of more upcoming giveaways that I will be doing because I just keep thinking of other ways I want to give stuff away. And so that's pretty much my agenda for this video. Let's get into it. And first, we're going to give away a donator pack. Now, I may have accidentally recorded the giveaway without audio again. I've done that before, and I made the same mistake again by not using the right sources in my Streamlabs scenes. Um, in any event, there were only eight qualified entries from my episode 13 and um, I've already spun the wheel and the winner was this this wait no who was it it was this player vase fud and so I've already spun the wheel and selected the winner and sent it to them So if you're wanting to participate in these donator pack giveaways, I've just sent selected the winner for from the episode 13 entries, meaning go to episode 14, go to episode 15, and make sure that you've left a comment in the, in the, on those videos, including your torn name and your torn ID number, player ID number. And that way, you'll be included in my next upcoming donator pack giveaways. Also, this particular donator pack that I just gave away was gifted by our community member Fantasy Doll, formerly known as Fantasy Fire. And so just as a mental note to myself, I need to keep reminding myself because I've been procrastinating on this, this player changed their name to include Doll as like a surname at the end of their name. And so I owe them a personalized profile picture. Um, anyway, I'm just dropping myself a reminder for that. And a big thank you to this friend because this is not the first time he's donated a donator pack for my giveaways. This is, I don't know how many times. This is at least the second time. 
Fantasy Doll has contributed to our donator pack giveaways. Thank you so much. I couldn't do this all by myself without any help, so thank you for your patronage. Now for me to talk a little bit about my aspirations for the game of Torn City, how I think I will be able to contribute to the growth of its player base, and just to the experience of new and returning players. Naturally, I feel that I do have more to offer towards the newbie community relative to the, the veterans of the game who've been here a very long time. And yet I still get surprised because every now and then someone will reach out to me who has years of service in the game saying that how much they appreciate what I do. So I'm, f I'm, I'm tickled and I'm flattered every time a more senior member of the community gives me kudos. So, but in general, I, you know, I look at the, the stats of the game and I see that there are only, you know, so many thousands of daily active players. And I look at those numbers and I think they're very small. I think that there is opportunity to get more people playing. And I think that my YouTube channel is a good tool, recruiting tool, to bring new players in and then to take existing players and help show them what they might be missing. Because a lot of times people try the game out and they, they're, they're there are elements to the game that they don't catch on to that make it difficult for them to feel engaged with a community of fellow players. Perhaps they get jaded by the experiences of being bi mugged and then want to rage quit. Um, you know, general things like that. So I'm going to try to be a good steward of steward of the community and especially noobs. Like, I, I want to be the guy that helps out all the noobs because I, I just see that as my greatest opportunity with my channel. And some of my methods are just going to be to continue giving away a lot of free stuff. Free, 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 free. Lots of free stuff. I'm going to try to continue that. And it's actually pretty easy because all I have to do is spend, pull out my wallet and buy more donator packs with my US dollars convert that to torn cash and use that to fuel more giveaways. And for some people that sounds like a crazy thing to do. It just so happens that my real life budget allows for some discretionary spending. And so I I am a I play torn as my primary game. I'm not a console gamer. I don't spend hundreds of dollars on the new PlayStation or the new Xbox. I don't spend $60 to purchase a new game every time I want to play a new game on a console. I'm a PC player, PC and mobile gamer. This is my passion. So this is what I'm going to spend my discretionary money on. And not only by giving away things, but I'm also going to contribute to this this hopefully decades long project of mine by investing in other players, effectively sponsoring other players by investing in their accounts with my torn dollars. And the gentleman's agreement is, is a bit of a handshake agreement that, that they will take 50% of the profits from those investments and give the gift that back to me so that I can continue to do what I do in a way that's sustainable. But before I talk more on the subject of investing for passive income in Torn City and how I'm going to weaponize that for my objectives, I'm going to get a little bit more meta and just talk about how this is more than just a game to me. Um, you know, a lot of these things that I'm doing are, you know, is they're the natural thing to do until you're right up against it. You know, it's the natural thing to do to invest in other players where you've got better opportunity for more total cumulative profits for the group. Um, but it comes at a risk or it, it does not come without risk. Um, and so there is a moment of 
hesitation when you when you get to be right up against it. Um, but I see this as more of a, more than just a game to me. This is not just a game. At a certain point, it ceases to be a game, because in the world, in the world which we live in, I sense and I see and I feel that we're seeing a level of discontinuity with the past than our species has really encountered before. Um, you can see it in global politics. You certainly see it in U.S. politics that there's a there's we're breaking from the past. And I don't see this YouTube project as primarily a political project. That's not what I'm trying to say. That's not where I'm going with this. But we're in, in, in many regards, whether it's politics or elsewhere, we're breaking from the past. And it's, it's in such a way that it's, it's so destructive that we're either going to descend in some kind, into some kind of permanent chaos, or there's going to be something that we reboot from as a society. And I want to be part of that so that I can leave my fingerprints and my influence on on whatever it is that we reboot from, whatever it is that this phoenix rises from the ashes. I would like to exercise my influence on that just to try to leave the world in a, in a better place than than how I found it. Now, I'm just one person, so there is only so much that I can do, um, but this is the line of thinking that I'm taking with me. And a lot of people come to me frequently and they say, Ken, thank you for what you're doing. It must, you know, it takes a lot of courage to put your face out there for the world to see. And, um, and I really appreciate those messages. You know, part of me would like to work privately. Um, and, and part of me realizes that we have to work in some public facing capacity. Now, I have personally found it much more comfortable to live a private life to not have every thought that I have be, be broadcast to a large audience. But I think as a society, we've run out of time. And so some of us are reluctantly choosing to make a different call now. And that's just what I'm doing um, in my own way. And this is, this is how I choose to contribute um, I think that my my YouTube channel is going to become a bit of a retirement project for me so that when the day comes that I can sever ties with my corporate America day job eventually, I can, you know, it's not just about what you're retiring from, it's about what you're retiring to. And for me, that's that's what my YouTube project is for. So I've gotten a bit grandiose, I've gotten a bit philosophical. Let me bring that back down and return to Torn City because no matter what, I'm a primary gamer. Torn is my main game, primary game. So let's just take it back down to the ground and talk about passive income investing in Torn. Now, there's a old school method of passive income investing, which is first of all, maximize the amount of merits you put into Torn City Bank interest and put as much cash in Torn City Bank as possible until you reach the maximum investment limit of $2 billion. And at that point, keep your bank investments rolling, usually in two month or three month investment terms for the highest uh, annual percentage yield for the best return on your investment. And after that, invest in 
stock market benefit blocks in Torn City. So let's talk a little bit about what a benefit block is and which stock benefit blocks, at least as of this, at the time of this recording, which are the most profitable. So here are just the stock benefits blocks that I've invested in. I've got Torn City Media Productions, Tell Group, PLC. Both of those are for the benefit of running a company. So I, am, I own and I'm director for a lingerie store in the game. These stock benefit blocks are necessary to be competitive as a director, regardless of, of what type of company you're operating. I also have the West Side University stock block. That's priority because it gives a 10% time reduction in how long it takes to complete any education courses. Other than that, all of my other stock benefit blocks, which I own, have I, I, I've invested in them because they pay me. They're profitable. They give dividends either once a week or once a month. And they pay me either in straight cash or they pay in item dividend payouts. So the Feathery Hotels group pays one Feathery Hotel coupon per week. And those are worth about $13 billion at the time of this recording. And I've just misspoke, which I do from time to time. I said $13 billion. Obviously, I meant $13 million. Feathery hotel coupons are worth approximately 13 million, not billion. I have two increments of Symbiotic, which is arguably at this time, and has been for a while, the most important stock benefit block to invest in. First, in terms of its return on investment, I have two increments of this, and I'll have to talk a little bit about what, it, what is an increment? I'll get there. Um, Torn City Times, I own that benefit block. It pays out $1 million a month, and Grain pays out $4 million a month. So cut to this screen, which is a Google Sheet developed by another member of the community. I found it in the forums. Everybody uses this sheet. It's very good. This is a very good tool. If you follow another torn YouTuber who goes by Oss Wayne, I like that guy. I love the content that he has put out. He doesn't upload as frequently as I do, and yet he is one of the torn YouTubers that I would identify as inspirations for me. I would say Oss Wayne in inspires me, Kata inspires me with her torn news. It's a shame that she's been gone dark for so long. I hope she's doing well in life and I hope she returns to a higher activity level in torn. Um, and on the subject of who inspires me in terms of YouTube and torn, I have to say, I have to mention Veg Visor. Hey guys, because he really, he really set the example I wanted to follow and then he deleted all every all of his content and removed it from Torn to to leave behind a void which I decided to fill. So Vegvisor if you're watching. Thank you. Uh, that was a tangent. Let me get back to Torn stocks. Oh yeah, I was talking about Al Swain because Al Swain recently has done videos about stock market investing. And so he shared this, and uh, I like I like all of his content, but I'm gonna try to fill a couple of gaps, which I feel like he didn't talk, he didn't discuss this too thoroughly. So I'm gonna point out a few extra things. Now, the traditional, I'm all over the place. So this spreadsheet shows you the which stock benefit blocks provide the highest return on investment. So you can just start at the top and say, well, what can I afford? And buy that, and that's it'll give you good direction of, of what you should invest in next. 
if we watch the ROI percentage, you know, from the bank, as of right now, the Torn City Bank with maximum merits gives a return on investment of over, almost 79% ROI. Like, you guys, that's insane, okay? I just, I don't know how else to put it. That's insane to be able to get that high of an ROI on an investment. And of course, this is only a game, and that's why it's possible to get such an ROI so easily. It's readily accessible to everyone. That's, that's not the case in the real world, right? In the real world, as far as I'm concerned, if you can get 10 to 15% ROI consistently and reliably, that's what you want in the real world is to be able to consistently get 10% or more ROI. Um, and if you can get 20%, you should be counting your blessings. But here in Torn, the math is different, right? Because it's a game economy. Uh, anyway, so I do not invest in stock blocks that, that give anything less than 35% ROI. And the reason for that is because, well, ultimately, I was having a conversation with my in-game spouse, Woldeep, or Dan, if he'll forgive me for using his, his real first name. Um, so I was talking with Dan, and I realized he didn't have anything invested in his bank. And he, he is a recruit of mine in the game who I trust with everything. I would trust him with, with everything. Um, but I realized he had nothing invested in Torn City Bank, which is where I recommend everybody goes for the best passive income. And meanwhile, I'm over here looking for my next investment. So what is my next best investment? Well, if you look at this spreadsheet, it will tell me that my next best investment is MUN stock block. Now this is the stock block that once you own 2.3 billion worth of shares of this stock, you will receive the payout of one supply pack of energy drinks per week. So that'll give you over $15 million worth of an item every week. And the math indicates that such an investment would give a 34.5% ROI, which is good. That's still good. In fact, it's almost as good as my second increment of Symbiotic that I've bought. So realistically, I probably should invest in this um, However, there's, a, there's another option, and it's one that people don't talk about very much, which is investing in other players, sponsoring other players. So getting back to my spouse, Dan, who has no money in his bank, or now he does, but in the time, at the time he didn't, I could invest in his bank, and he could get, or th that investment in total would get over 78% ROI. And even if we cut that in half, what's 78 divided by 2? It would be 35 plus 4. So it would be approximately 39% ROI that I could keep for myself, and then another 39% of an ROI I could let my spouse have as a thank you for him facilitating this investment in his account. So my money, his account, this is a handshake agreement whereby we agree that it's all my money going in, it's his account, and the whole thing will produce a 78% return on investment, which we can split down the middle. He gets half for it being his account, I get half for it being my money. Now, such an investment or such an, a gentleman's agreement is rather high risk if you don't if you aren't able to really trust the investing partner now i'm going to make a big bet that i'm going to be able to effectively identify who i can trust and who i can't 
and I am going to sponsor a lot of other players. And I've already been, I've already started doing this. Um, I do this in two ways. One way is I give a person up to two billion dollars to put in their own bank, so long as they've got all ten merits or all ten increments of um, their merit spend to maximize their bank interest. So if I trust them and if they have all merits upgraded for bank interest, I will gift or loan, essentially, up to $2 billion for that trusted partner of mine to put all in their bank for two or three months at a time, and then we split the dividends 50-50. It can get more complicated if they want to have some of their own money in there and we can co-mingle it. That's fine, but anyways, um, other than investing in a person's bank, based on the current conditions of the stock market, the symbiotic stock block is much more affordable, so the barrier of entry is much lower. It only costs about $305 million at the time of this recording, and the ROI there is not quite as good as the bank as of right now. However, even if we cut this amount in half, 71%, if we cut that in half, we still get over 35% ROI for each player, myself and the sponsor. Or I'm the sponsor, they're the sponsored, I guess. And so I either give people money to put in their bank, or I give people money to purchase a, the first increment. It has to be the first increment of symbiotic. In case you aren't familiar with what I mean by first increment or second increment, they, they, they change the stock system. I can't tell you exactly when um, off the top of my head, but the current stock system that the game is operating on is referred to as Stocks 3.0. Now, prior to this update, players could only purchase one increment of a stock block. And it's a different threshold for, for each stock, but once you purchase a block, enough shares to reach the threshold to have a whole block of it, you receive the payout, or the dividend, which is either cash or items. Um, but in terms of the, pay, the payout stocks, they changed it so that now you can own multiple blocks of the stock. And the second time you purchase the increment, the cost is twice as much and the payout is the same as the first. So it's effectively has half of the payout. It has half of the ROI relative to the first increment. So basically when I invest in another player and I'm purchasing or helping them purchase their first increment of symbiotic, that has the same profitability to me as my own second increment of symbiotic. So if you follow the math, that should make sense. I need to clean up how I'm keeping track of this, but so far I have about four and a half billion dollars invested in other players who I am sponsoring. So four and a half billion. So far, they're all in good standing and they are all continuing to give me half of the dividends resulting from those investments. Um, what else do I wanna say on this subject? So I hope that I have explained enough for for the audience to understand how the increments of stock blocks work. And I hope it makes sense how I'm planning on sponsoring other players and investing in other players for a mutual benefit. Um, next, I want to just say briefly that my current plan, I can't promise the future, but my current plan is to play Torn City until I'm dead. And furthermore, like I'm only 31 years young, so I've got a lot of time left.
for my Torn City career, I have opportunity to continue this plan for decades. And before I resign myself from the game, um, I will ensure my entire net worth is passed on to the community and platform which I am building. And so I just want to call out part of my inspiration for this. Um, as you may know, I am an active trader. I trade. I, I buy plushies and flowers from my suppliers. And so I just want to take a moment and look at Rob Snow. So Rob Snow is a player here. He's identified as a his rank as a heroic trader, level 75, four and a half, almost four and a half years old. The account is, why does he have a bounty on him? Um, he ha His last action was 1,054 days ago. So as far as I can tell, Rob Snow is no longer part of the Torn community. He has become, an, he has become a relic, or an artifact. This is the trader. I only bring him up is because this is the trader I first used whenever I was a new player running flowers and plushies and giving them to a trader or selling them to a trader. Rob Snow was my trader when I was coming up. And if we look at his personal statistics, we will see why I'm disappointed in what Rob Snow has done. So if we just look at the net worth of Rob Snow over the course of the last five years, look at how effective he was. He went all the way up to $90 billion of his, was his net worth. Now, look at it. Now, he has not logged in in years, and there is, you know, there's over $90 billion of net worth locked up that will never be passed on to anyone. That is the opposite of what I want to do. In fact, I don't even want my net worth to get that high because if, if my net worth gets that high, it means I'm not investing in other players. Um, so I don't know why I keep talking about Rob Snow, but... I just wanted to point out that I'm disappointed in Rob Snow because while he, he did contribute to not just to my own game experience but the experience of many other players, he did, I, I feel that he did us wrong by quitting the game and by not passing on his Inher by not inheriting down his net worth, which is counter to what my plan is. So we've given away another donator pack. I've mentioned that I'm hiding a lot of my net worth in the accounts of other trusted players. We've gone over how passive income... Oh, another thing about passive income investing. The old school train of thought is to, for most players, Invest in the bank, invest in these stock benefit blocks, all the way down until you get to the point of reaching about 20% ROI. After that, people invest in private islands. They, they purchase private islands for the purpose of renting them out to other players. And that kind of investment can yield up to about 20% ROI. I think it could even get less than that because you're going to have vacancy and you're going to have to compete with lower priced rentals. Anyway, my personal strategy, like I think that's the old school. The old school mindset is invest in the bank and stocks down to 20% ROI. And at that point, invest in private islands and rent those out for, if you're lucky, up to a 20% ROI. My strategy is investing down to about 35% in my own stock blocks and then start investing and sponsoring other players either in their bank or in symbiotic first increments to get 
a 35% ROI that they get to keep and 35% for me to keep. And so now I just want to end on a note of, of uh, sharing some details about yet another giveaway I'm planning. I, ha I have a big giveaway I'm preparing for, which I will facilitate in the month of May 2023. I hope that this may turn into a recurring giveaway. Essentially what I plan on doing is giving away 50 large suitcases. I think it's 50. I'll double check the math, but I want I want to give away approximately 500 million dollars worth of large suitcases. And my my hope is that all of you who are watching can recruit your friends, recruit recruit your friends to join Torn City. And in order to help make their start a strong start to the game, I will hope to give away up to 50 large suitcases, hopefully to newer players. And this will help enable them, once they reach level 15, to jumpstart their profits. In fact, Perhaps I will even offer short-term monetary loans so that your recruits not only can get a large suitcase for my giveaway, but also can afford to rent a private island, a minimalist economy private island, which at least has an airstrip because when you're level 15, you're looking to make as much money as possible by traveling. The best things that you can do are make sure you're renting a private island with an airstrip and don't forget to hire a pilot on your staff. Most, second most importantly, make sure that you're in a faction that has plus 10 excursion, all 10 extra travel capacity, and then also get a large suitcase when you can afford it and consider joining a flower shop or a toy shop or another company that otherwise increases your travel capacity or lets you exceed travel capacity. Um, I digress. So my point being, I've got an upcoming give giveaway in the month of May. I'm going to, I'm planning for this to be close to museum day. So, Around Museum Day, I'm going to be giving away ballpark $500 million worth of large suitcases to new players. I may also do loans for private island rentals for those who need it as long as they're trading with me or my trading partners on my team. There's a twist to this, this suitcase giveaway. There's a twist, which is anybody who feels like passing it forward, paying it forward, can, once they're, once they're able to afford it, they can choose to return that suitcase back to me. And anybody who does that will be contributing to me doing this again next year. So maybe, maybe it'll work out so that every single year in the month of May, around Museum Day, I'll be able to give away more suitcases to more players every year and it'll be, it might dwindle because I'm not going to necessarily do spend 50, $500 million every year on this giveaway, um, but depending on how many people choose to pay it forward and, and return that suitcase once they're done, um, you know, it just helps paying, I just, I just am playing with this concept of pay it forward type of giveaways. So I've been long-winded. I'm sorry. I've probably been repetitive in this video, but thank you for watching and keep an eye out for future videos because I'm just going to keep doing more giveaways. So thanks everybody. Have a good one.